hello and welcome to Lily's Cupcakery Oktoberfest. Why am I saying Oktoberfest? Oktoberfest edition. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to plant it. Is this the right side? Here I have the dough that I've just shown to you before and it, wow, got really big. Okay, so now you see here that I have some flour in order to prevent the dough from sticking to my work surface. Uh, but that also depends a little bit on your work surface because mine is relatively easy to deal with. But uh, if it's wood, I might use a little more. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to roll a long roll <laughs> out of it, first of all. And now cut 10 pieces out of it. It might help if you wet in your hands a little bit. All right, so you see now here the outsides, the edges, or whatever you want to call it on the right and on the left side are relatively small and thin. And in the middle, we have the thicker part. Now what you have to do is the following. now and with the remaining I'm gonna make five Laugenstangen. Those are the longer sticks. The dough is the exact same. It's just the shape is different. I'm thinking actually out of these two I could make uh, Laugenbrötchen. Start boiling water, which I'm doing in the background, and take a pot with baking soda. Make sure that it really cooks for five minutes and that it's really boiling. And then you put in the bretzel for around about 20 to 30 seconds. You take it back out and you put it on a baking sheet with parchment paper before you bake it. Then you can sprinkle it with salt or with cheese or poppy seeds or whatever you want to put on there. Uh, and then you have to bake it. to see your American versions of Oktoberfest that you might go to or your Lederhosen or your Dirndl or whatsoever. So feel free to send everything to me. I'd love to look at it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you might, might make my Brezeln at home. If so, then take a picture of it, post it onto my social media and use the hashtag Lily's Cupcakery so I can see it. Now don't forget to subscribe free of charge down here Share the good news that there is this video teaching you how to make German Brezeln. But there's one thing I want to also show you. The region I come from has something that we eat to the Brezeln and it's called Spundekäse. It's not really known in entire Germany, but here it's a real big thing. 
Speaking of my hometown, which is most famous for all its vineyards and vintners and wineries and wine in general, and I would like to introduce Peter Kau to you, who is one of our vintners here in Hackenheim. So I'm working on that and stay tuned. Bye bye, guys. And no, not entire Germany wears Dirndl all year round. It's Bavaria. In Germany, we take Schmand and Quark. The equivalents for you here would be cream cheese, sour cream, salt and pepper. Then we need paprika, onions and garlic and a large bowl. Now dice the onions really small. and press in the garlic. And now in goes a lot of paprika, and then you have to really make sure that you salt and pepper. It needs quite a lot of salt because it kind of soaks up the taste of the salt easily. And then you mix everything, you let it sit for an hour in the fridge so that the taste becomes more intense, and then you can eat it with your pretzels. Enjoy! Take care, see you next time. <laughs>